Meet the super rich van der Laarscots, landowners of a four acre country pile in Cornwall. Tracy and John have been married for 10 years and have three children, Declan, Lily and Lulu. Meet the Christophers. 36 year old Shaz lives in East London with son Terry, daughters Shayla and Vicky and granddaughter Cameron. Shaz has never been married and prides herself on being a single parent. The two women have agreed to swap homes, children and lifestyles for two weeks to see what they can learn about their own lives. What happens when a country housewife becomes a single mum in the city? You think you know so much, no, you but you're a little you girl. Think. I'm not a little girl. You I'm not a little girl. You're no, only, no. What's it like when you don't see eye to eye? Know what? I've got a fucking heart, mate. Right? And you, it's all material shit. And what happens when someone tries to control your life? You don't know I mean it! Don't make accusations, don't judge me! Do not! Whatever, Terry! Sort yourself out! I'm not doing it! Lazy bastard! Tracy van der Laarscott has the life she's always dreamt of. She's got her own jag, a five-bedroom country mansion in Cornwall, and a husband who's worked all his life so she doesn't have to. He's worked hard for his money and we've had to make a lot of sacrifices for it, but none of it's been given to us. The most important thing in my time is actually cleaning and tidying. Tracy's absolute pride and joy is her million-pound house and she loves nothing more than keeping it immaculate, spending at least five hours every day cleaning. I like everything not to just be good, I like it to be great. Husband John is a business consultant and works hard to pay the mortgage, so he's keen to see his investment taken care of. You know, a lot of my friends say the house and the way we live is almost clinical, but would I appreciate it going to the dogs? No, I couldn't hack it at all. Tracy is passionate about keeping their possessions in perfect condition. I use baby oil on the, on the oven because it's stainless steel. After you've washed it, it can look a bit, uh, a bit dull and grey. Whereas if you rub the baby oil on it, it makes it look like it's new again, like the day you've bought it. Get your shoes off. Even the van der Laar Scott children have been trained to fit in with Tracy's regime of order and cleanliness. They're forbidden to walk on Tracy's white carpets with shoes on. They're barred from the formal rooms and they've never been allowed posters on their own bedroom walls. Tracy and John pride themselves on being a team. They rely on each other for support, make joint decisions and wouldn't have it any other way. There's a lot of things that I know John could most probably give a much better solution to and then there's other situations that I'm the better person to come up with the way forward. But it's always together, isn't it? Yeah. Shaz Christopher is 36 and lives in a rented council house in East London. She hasn't had a man in her life for eight years and never wants one again. Shaz is a single mum. I don't really have it, you know, because society says that, you know, it should be mum and dad and you should, kids need both parents. I'm sorry, but that's, you know, that's your opinion. I think people do judge our mum because, like, she's a single mother. But at the end of the day, we don't care because, obviously, we're all right. We've grown up. We're still here and she does a good job. If she didn't do a good job, obviously we'd be in social services as care or something like that, or dead or, you know. And I think she's better without a dad, because sometimes dads, they don't even do nothing. You know, you want something done, do it yourself, innit? Innit, Tell? It's true. I mean, I'm happy being Miss Single. I love it. I can get up when I want, I can cook when I want. I ain't got no man telling me jack shit. And I like it. It's easy. Oh, shots! Shaz couldn't care less about money. She devotes her life to working with kids in her local community. She came off benefits three years ago and now earns eight pounds an hour. I've always said that, like, once I come off social, I want to work, so I'm paying society back in that way. I work hard 55 hours a week. I do three different youth clubs. I work in schools. 
I do mentoring and work with children with like behaviour and learning problems, difficulties. You're red, you're red. You know that the thing way, that really that makes way, me that laugh way. is like people say to me, how can you work with people? Like, how can you, how can you do that? How can you work with kids? You know, and I say to them, if I don't do it, then who will? But Shaz also has to cope with her own kids. An elder son, Terry, is a problem. He does nothing to help around the house and hasn't even got a job. I've got bills to pay. Me and Vic are the only two working. The financial shit won't get resolved until Terry gets a job and he goes, oh, I'm earning 200 a week. Then I can say, right, I'm taking 100 off you. Tracy's been at home for 14 years, but firmly believes young people should have a strong work ethic. I do find it very difficult when people say, oh, well, I'm stuck in a rut and there's no way out. If you're 18 years old and you're fully able, get a job. Nobody owes you a living. Do it yourself. It's the day of the swap, and both women are preparing to leave. Do I look nervous? Do I look nervous? I'm fucking shit myself. They've agreed to have no contact with their families until it's all over. Hi, baby. Hi, Mum. I'm very worried. I am very, very worried. Dad! Bye, Mum! I don't even want to sit and wait for a bus there. I won't be sort of roaming around on my own after midnight or going out for a little jog on my own without my Rottweiler. Just the general thing. Oh, my God. This house here. I see satellite TVs very popular around here. Which one's the front door? <laughs> Before they meet their new family, the women have a chance to explore their new homes. Oh, wow. Because this must be... She's a nice mum. Where's the dad? Wow. I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs> I couldn't even house that in the back garden. Clutter, Ugh. it's a big no in my... If you don't use it, bin it. Jesus, look at this! Oh, I think I should be quite happy to chill out here. Go out and have a fag. Wow. <laughs> made the most of the space. <laughs> Each woman has left a written manual as a guide for running their homes. I don't have the time to clean every day, nor do I think that is important. <laughs> During weekends I get up about 7am and will clean until midday. Five hours? I don't know the hoover! <laughs> oh, I'll give her one of mine. Each bit has to be made to perfection. And each one takes a good seven to eight minutes. I'm seven to eight minutes to make a fucking bed. We have no savings at all. Not enough money is earned to save. John works from home and I don't work. Well, I do. 55 hours. All right, love, 55 hours. It's nice to be a lady of leisure, but, you know. When I get home from work, which is about 11 p.m.? Oh, my God, she's not a hooker, is she? It's finally time for Shaz and Tracy to meet their new families. Hello. Hi. <laughs> is this Lulu? This Hello. Is Lulu. Hi, this uh, is Lily. Friend. We've got to come in to stay with us for a little while. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are Hi. you? I'm Vicky. You're Vicky. Yeah. I'm Tracy. This is Cameron. Hi. This has got to be Shayla. Shayla yeah. How you doing? Right. T Terry? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah. I'm Tracy. Oh. Can you see any wedding rings? No. I'm a single mum. <laughs> She's gonna love my ass, mate. So, dad, no dad. No, nah. no, not in that scene. Even if she did have a man, it would it would stop her from doing certain things. You know, she would be restricted because she does her own thing completely. You know, come, come here. Stop being silly. Stop being silly. <laughs> bit Barbie, -ish. but she's she's very nice. She's really nice. I like her. I think we'll get along fine. Oh, she don't run her mouth. No, I don't think she will. As long as she don't try and get us to bloody polish the floor. 
I'm sorry, but baby oil does not go on ovens. <laughs> it's 9.30 in Cornwall, but there's no time to relax for Shaz. She has to polish the cooker until it's pristine. Uh, top that, long hair. Oh. You're turning into your mother. <laughs> you missed that. That's it. And after the kitchen's clean, there's a pile of laundry to tackle. Shaz has never ironed for a man in her life. <laughs> Your dad's a big man, isn't he? <laughs> My first impression was actually better than I expected, to be fair. Very bubbly young lady, uh, full of life. Um, I think we'll have a lot in common, to be honest. In London, there's no such thing as a cleaning rotor, so Tracy's got time to talk to her new family. Did you get any qualifications at school or anything? No, I had quite a lot of trouble at school. At How come? Uh, teachers didn't see out twice. So. Why? You're pretty easy going. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what. Oh, I was really surprised. I say you've got nice manners. You're easy going. I think it's gone better than I thought it might have, because, as I hoped, the family are nice. It's strange that I haven't got a partner. I don't know if that's going to make it easier, difficult. I don't know. So what am I going to do, dust or in a hoover? You dust first. It's right? well past midnight, and although Shaz hasn't stopped cleaning since the minute she arrived, she's falling oh, okay. far short of Tracy's impeccable standards. I've noticed that the kitchen isn't clean, the sitting room isn't clean, everything's starting to fall apart. It's 20 past 12 and I want to go to bed. Soft this next week, man. If the room don't need tidying, it won't be. And no baggies are getting the ironed. Sorry, John. <laughs> I'm not ironing no man's baggies for him. Shaz and Tracy have exchanged homes and families for two weeks. It's Saturday, and even though Shaz is now Lady of the Manor, she's got no time to relax with five hours of cleaning to be done. She says she does polishing. Is that the floor polishing? Hoovering, polishing, dusting. She starts at the top with the kind of the fluffy duster and works it down. Does she iron the sheets? Yeah. Fuck off. Well, you can't go into a bed that hasn't had iron sheets, can you? This house is an absolute disgrace. It is bloody disgusting. I'd be so ashamed to even let anyone realise I live like this. There's no pride. It's just... It's a hovel. This is so unfair that she will be walking into a really nice, orderly household. I'd be so ashamed to show that I was such a slack, slovenly person. But there's no slacking for slovenly Shaz in Cornwall. She's struggling to deal with more than a dozen different cleaning products. But at least Declan's on hand with some helpful advice. Oh, I use, you use a different spray for that. Now you tell me. I used, um... You used wood cleaner on glass. I don't give a shit. You just... <laughs> this stuff's easier. You just spray it. That like loud. And then you rub it. There we go. With the same cloth, though? That cloth. Oh, shit. <laughs> Does this bath get used a lot? Yeah, we always use this bath. What about the one next to, um, the other... The room where I am. No, just... I'm not allowed to use that. Why? Because it just means you have to clean it again. <sighs> and the second bathroom is not the only place that's out of bounds for the children. So the kids are not allowed in this one? No. They're at, right, so this, this is like your room. That one there is when you eat when Princess Diana or Princess Margaret or whoever's coming. Christmas, birthdays, special occasions. And you, Right, so whose birthday's coming up next? Um, Lulu's. Oh, yeah, June. Yeah. So you're going to have a little thing in there in June? Not for her, no. What do you mean, not for her? It's a birthday. Yeah, but that's not for a kid's birthday. In London's East End, Tracy's having to work for the first time in 14 years. She's feeling slightly apprehensive about her late shift in the youth drop-in centre. Working with children is something I think would be a bit of fun. Just look after them and keep them happy, I hope. Listen up, this is Tracy, everyone. And you know Tracy's come to work with us today. Tracy and Shaz, yeah? So make her feel at home. So what do you all do? You just hang around and... Yeah. Squirts. You do what? Squirts. Hang around. Squirts. 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 But they don't speak like that in Cornwall. <laughs> Tracy's never worked with inner city kids and she's glad to get home in one piece. Didn't know whether I was going to end up getting machetied or. There's an atmosphere. It's, it's, 
to watch your back, think about what you say. You have to be very, very on the ball all the time. It's not my kind of scene. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. It's Sunday morning, but John's morning. refusing to let Shaz lie in. Chores. We've got to get all the beds sorted out, all the bedrooms, all dusted and hoovered, beds made. Um, the lounge that we used, oh, the yeah. deck used in there, the back room, the washing, the ironing, the kitchen, getting that all chip shape again, all the sides, usual kind of story. Mm -hmm. um, I, think I'm, I think I know the routine now. And then, depending on how long it, it takes, I mean, you know, my preference would be to go for a surf while you're doing that. This is over the top. It's bullshit, over the fucking top, like fussiness about. Do you know what I mean? I could be, I could be out there, like look, the sun's out there, and poor old um, Lulu's sitting in the fucking front room watching telly when she should be outside doing stuff, and I'm fucking about with some fringe on a fucking carpet. Sorry, but you know what I mean? It pisses me off. It's like, come on, you need to sort your shit out. I don't know how old she is, but you know what? I still think to myself, you need to get a life. In London, Tracy's got a new life, but it's making her miserable. She isn't allowed to clean, the house is in a state, and Terry's been parked in front of the TV all morning. He thinks he can come and go as he pleases, like it's a hotel, and it's not. Then surely the mum must say, right, you either live here or you contribute, yeah. or you don't. Yeah, and he Fine. said, I'm going to live here. See, Terry's just, oh, you, well, you'll find out about him as the week goes by. You give him an inch and it takes a mile. You've got to deal with him as an it. adult. But we need to set some ground rules. How any of you get anything done living in such disorganised chaos is beyond me. If no one clears anything away, no one does anything, you end up like this, like bloody bedlam. Do you not feel that everything's kind of like a bit... Ah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Everything, because that's the thing as well. Yeah, but, but nothing there's more in Terry. life. No, there's more in life than Terry because everything being really sparkling clean. No, it's all part of everything working together to run orderly well, and structurally. I, I don't think it is. Well, Terry's got no structure, and that's it's, why he's like how he yeah, is. Yeah, that's, I have structure. I don't think the house is that dirty. It's not as though someone's pissed on the floor. It's just like bits from two days. She don't understand. You clean up, and then... Cameron, Shayla, Terry, their friends will come in here. It will get messy again in two hours. So if she wants to spend her time cleaning up after everyone else, go for it, cos I ain't. It's trash. John's back from surfing, and although Shaz has been cleaning for more than five hours, he's far from satisfied. In these days, you're not doing what Tracy's doing, you're doing the way you would do it. Right, what are you talking about? Well, if I go in all the beds, all the beds, because you've done the, the covers... Well, we go upstairs quickly. I know you washed all the kind of the sheets and everything, but if Tracy was doing it, what she would have done is all the stuff that she'd taken off, like all the cooks, she would have laid it all back out. So basically, right? I, I really don't want to do it right now. This would have to have gone back she over here. All and all this would go back like this, all right? And, and then when she came and in. Then, and, then, and then when all the stuff is dry, then we take it all off, but it put all back on, put all this on. I'm sorry, that is just fucking crazy. She would never leave the house the way it is now. <sighs> well, then. Day gets wasted because like you want to spend time making uh, beds. Is and... it wasted? It's a you know it's a way. <laughs> it's the one thing she likes. She enjoys. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't say in the manual how to leave it. It just says strip the beds and and put the stuff in the wash and it's got to be ironed. It doesn't say once you've stripped the beds, put the quilts back neatly and and put the pillows back all plumped up and it doesn't say that. So if I don't know it, how am I supposed to do it perfect? Because I'm what well, am I expected to know? Because I'm a woman. No. So well, you don't need to get up tight, that's why I said, no, I'm with respect, going. I'm kind of just telling you. Tracy's made no headway with Vicky, so she's decided to tackle 20-year-old Terry about being unemployed. Did anyone ever talk to you about going to university or going to college or, or being something? Do, do you think you're good at anything? I'm good at lots of things, but I haven't got qualifications or, not, or experience, so, yeah. You think that's why? Mm -hmm. I just think that because of your personality and, and 
because you've got, I don't know, you're, you're nice and you're polite. I'm surprised you haven't got a job because I'd give you a job. I just got to get myself out of this pattern of being lazy and whatever and whatever. That's it, I know what my problems are. I, I know everything already. In Cornwall, it's past midnight, and yet again, Shaz is overwhelmed by the amount of housework oh, still to do. Like space. I need something to sort of like look, put things on. I was pretty pissed off today, to be honest. Um, I don't think Shaz uh, pulled her weight at all. Um, or maybe, uh, you know, the kind of the uh, the magnitude of the task just 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 overpowered her. I ain't a, I, I, do you know what I actually feel like? I feel like a fucking slave. I feel like a slave. This is that. That's how I actually feel here. Put shoes on now. It's Monday yeah. morning. Shaz has to get the girls to school on time. Meanwhile, Tracy's off to work again. This is Tracy, and she's going to be here with us for a few days. Okay. Do you get earplugs with your job? <laughs> this is Valium. Valium. <laughs> Seven on each mat! Go! I prefer dealing with the younger kids. You get so much from them. You can give so much. They're not already tainted. They haven't already been moulded. Are you ready? Tracy feels she's doing well in her new job as youth worker, but Shaz's daughter Vicky's not exactly impressed. Fucking, she thinks she's modern-day Mother Teresa, innit? She just needs to fucking put on a little fucking habit, or whatever it's called. Drive your Aston Martin into fucking India. See how you are then, stupid woman. Mm. Whilst John enjoys his supper, Shaz is busy helping Lily with her homework. But everyone's mind is turning to tomorrow when Shaz gets to change the rules. In 24 hours, we have a change of leadership and uh, suddenly the house becomes uh, the house of Shaz. Oh, I actually believe that what I'm aiming to do is to get him to see how... Op my life is how I work, how I operate. I might be in for a very rude awakening and a great shock, but, uh, you know, we'll see as, uh, as time moves on. It's the day both women have been waiting for, and for Tracy, introducing her own rules means she can finally get to grips with Terry. The girls all think, yeah, you don't need a man in your life, but, Terry, it would be nice to have a male figurehead Terry could be the man, and he would get so much from it. I think his self-esteem would go through the roof. It's essential that Terry contributes to the household finances. If you want to work, Tal, I know you can. You live within, like, these four walls and you don't, sort of, like, see what's going on outside. <laughs> I want to change that to, to give you a taste of, like, how it is for me and how I do things in my life. All right, John, I think you need to be more proactive in your community. I'm not being rude, Terry, but I ain't got much faith in you finding what? a job. I've been trying, I've been constantly trying, ever since I was young, I've been trying. Uh, but don't just try, let's do it. I've confiscated all the cleaning products. Oh, my God. Right? You ain't going to clean. I've been living in this house for five days, and it's not a family home. It's more like a student house or a squat. This house needs to be blitzed from top to bottom. We've got to be able to clean, though, haven't we? Really? Do you not know, think we've got to have yeah. a certain amount? Can we just have it just, well, at, least just at least every other day? No. I'm going to completely ban shouting in the house. The main culprit is little Vic. And I know, Vicky, you get angry and frustrated. I do know you get angry. But to achieve results, you need to speak to people All with right. civility and respect. And this Saturday, John, are you ready for it? We're going to have a party. And guess what, John? It's going to be for kids who aren't as lucky as like, your, your children, because you, you are lucky, you are all of you. Yeah. No, no. I think there's going to be a party yeah. for the um, not-so-privileged kids. Yeah, and then after nice. the, and then, yeah, that, that is a that really, is a really idea. good idea. I would have never thought get out, like They that. don't get out that often, obviously, if they're like that. But, and and then, then, um, up for ages, and yeah. they don't have that much of a privilege. And the last thing that I want is for Tracy to walk into the house and for it to be trashed which would meet all of her expectations as to what was likely to happen on this and would probably really stress her out and freak her out. I think it went really well. And I, I doubt if they will be able to stick to all the rules, but at least if we can put some of them in. It's not fucking realistic. You know, like um, them Disney films, 
she walks through the forest and the little birds are coming, sitting on her shoulder and singing and the rabbits are hopping around her feet. That's Tracy, man. <laughs> this is East London, love. There ain't no bloody squirrels and rabbits. Mm. You know, fucking hell. It's the first day of the new rules, and Tracy finally gets the chance to impose a rigorous cleaning regime. Two, today, I might start off nice and friendly, but if it doesn't start happening, I'm not going to shout, but I'm going to get firm and mean. Because this is it's really... They really, really need someone to kick their butt. Whoa, good morning. There you go. Nice bit of toast. Cup of tea. Thank you. It's nice to see you in a shirt. You're looking good and smart. Sit and enjoy your breakfast. Before I make you work like a dog. <laughs> Cleaning up. Just doing my head in. Can't blame the mother for everything, but they haven't been taught anything about, oh, I don't know. Pride or consideration for the environment you live—it's bloody horrible. In Cornwall, as part of her new rules, Shaz has planned a surprise outing for John. It's going to take me three minutes to have a cigarette. In that time, I want your shoes on, and we're ready to go out the door. All right. She wants John to work with the kids in his community, so she's volunteered his services at the local surf club. We're going to the beach, and we're going to teach them kids. You and I, surfing. We are? We are. We've got a qualified lifeguard there. We have. Do you want to go and get some wetty suits and yep. sort that out and then get your shoes on and we'll hit the road? I'm impressed by the desire to share with others, the desire to explore relationships with those less fortunate a bit more. You know, will three or four days of this change our fundamental principles? I doubt it. Um, but will it, uh, you know, will it give us something to think about? Yeah, probably it will. Tracy's new cleaning rules aren't proving so popular. Terry's mates have turned up at the door, giving him the perfect excuse to escape. I'm open to see if... Oh, hang on, there he comes. Terry's, it makes a sense. No, 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 we can't today, because we're doing all kinds of stuff. Do you remember? I'm waiting. I'm really waiting now, Tez. OK. Come on, we made... You've promised me just two days, that's all I want. I've committed to you, I need a bit back. He wants to just piss around with his friends. I'll go home, you know? But I'm here for them. And if they're not going to help me help them, then go take a running bloody jump. Yeah, I'm going to get on with it, but... No, no, no. Come in. Come in. Can I just have a word? No. Look, still matey boy tonight. But then I've got to think about it. Get too many people. I ain't got enough time in, in my fucking Fine. life to do this. Well, Seriously. you haven't got a job, so you haven't got... You've got plenty listen, of... Yeah, I, I have got a job, Stop but I can't making work. excuses. So, listen, no, no excuses, yeah? I can't You're work. Not. No, no, listen, just listen, yeah? I listen. The thing with my friends, yeah? I say, if you, you may think, oh, you can't tidy up while your friends are here, whatever, yeah? For fuck's sake, you can see your friends for the rest of your life, all day, every day. Because you've just made me swear, and I'm really pissed off about that. But please... Are you going to let me help you? Yeah. You, right, then make your choices. I, I, I can't just... Damn. Yeah, fuck off, that's it, yeah, it's a safe bed, fuck off. I don't, you don't have it's to be rude to your mate. I'm trying to... Um... It's very... You've got a racial tension. Yeah, that's all right. Do you understand? I'm not trying to be rude no, to you guys. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. thanks ever so much. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> The whole purpose of the lesson is to get some fun out of it. Start the paddle, we're paddling like mad. It hits the back of the board and up. <laughs> so, should we get down towards the sea? Enjoyed trying to be an instructor. The reality of it is actually pretty tough, and I really thank you for participating with us. And I'd like a big round of applause for Shaz, who's the first surfer girl. John's side of it, I thought he did very well. He was 
really, really, really good with the kids. He was patient. He was supportive. He was very helpful. Um, and the same for me. He was really good. Tracy's still determined to take on Terry. Well, it's about one step to the door. You can do it. And the first battle of the day is getting him up. Oh. Terry! The second is getting him to work. Let's go. Watch your lace. Terry hasn't had a proper job since leaving school, so Tracy's arranged a day's work with a local decorator. You go early. So as long as you, you, know, you put the effort in and the time in, then you know, you'll, you'll find someone who'll take you on, if you're serious about it. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. And also, you've got to enjoy it. But after just half a day, Terry's decided that painting's not for him. I managed to drag him out of bed. He only had to work the morning, which was very fortunate for him. And then he came home and made me all these prompts. I'm going to clear up, I'm going to do this. Great, I thought, lovely. And then I didn't see him for the rest of the day because he was out in the bedroom, conked out, I don't know. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute. That's your life gone, Terry, in a minute. <laughs> As part of Shaz's new rules, John has to get involved in his community, so she's taking him out for the evening to the local youth centre. That's so great, I isn't it? Blown away. You know, if yeah, they're throwing a birthday party, brilliant. if you can get into one of those. Yeah, that's oh, fun. You know, it's good fun, yeah. and you get your name spread around yeah, a bit. Yeah, that was the know. first game we played at a birthday party. Yeah. That was good fun, that was. What have I done now? It's what you haven't done, sweetheart. What have I got to do? What's what have I done? Saturday. 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 Well, definitely just don't be strong, eh? Yeah. Kids were very enthusiastic about what they were doing and they were able to channel their energies in a very progressive and positive way. And, uh, and to be fair, I think that kind of rubbed off on me while I was here. Yeah, would I uh, would I go again? Yeah, probably would. It was a good eye opener into you know positive things with young people, and yeah, if this is what um, Shaz does. Then um, you know, all credit to her. In East London, Tracy's realising that life as a single mum is not always such a positive yeah. experience. She's trying to cook a family meal, but Terry's an hour and a half late with the shopping. It's been gone ages. I can't cook the dinner because he's supposed to be putting up some potatoes. Love how far is this? How far is this? Um... You see the trouble my mum must go through. Mm. But he's even behaving well for you. My, he, he don't even behave this well for my mum. Mm. You know. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He doesn't. But the only thing is, though, Vic, I would say, don't the parents shape the children into what they Not are? Not really. It's his own well, decisions. The, the, the he, parents do have no, some no. semblance he's of what chosen. their children become. One day, I hope one of your children turns bad, and then you will understand. You will understand, because you don't seem to understand. You're very patronising. Am I? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if you mean shared. to do it. No, because you keep shouting at me, and I can't deal with someone who's shouting. Because you, you're patronising us, you know? Well, you know, I can't your mum can't control him. If he's really pissing her off, why doesn't she get him to leave? Get and go where? So you would chuck your own son on the street, yeah? yeah. <laughs> if it was one of my kids, they'd, I'd oh. show him the door. Tracy, you think funny. you know so much, no, you but think, you're a little you girl. Think. I'm not a little girl. Yes, I'm not a little it. girl. You're no, only, don't, don't, don't you talk are, to me like that. No, right, all right, I'm you're 18. Girl. No, I'm 19. I'm a mother. Being a mother has wised me up a lot. Forget this for a laugh. Whatever. Whatever you're Children. As a parent, you're not always perfect. You do your best. And I still believe that, despite everything, Shazzy has maybe done her best.
but in my opinion her best has not been good enough and her best has not always been in the uh, in the benefit of the children. In Cornwall, while Shaz is organising her party for the underprivileged kids, John is becoming anxious about the no cleaning rule. Last night was a great night. I mean, it was really good fun. But um, there's just absolutely no way that I think you can sort of burn the candles at both ends like that um, in terms of, you know, sort of being out, doing things all day and still kind of hold the family together. I mean, it's just, it's just too much. I mean, she isn't doing any cleaning whatsoever. The priority is all about the party that's coming up and making sure that everything's organised for that and that all the people are invited with little or no regard for, um, for what any of the family think about it. Back in London, Terry finally turns up. You've been so long, Terry. I've really, I've had enough now. Now, it's about time you stood on your own two feet. I've been waiting for this bloody stuff so I can do your sister a dinner. And I did ask you not to smoke in the house. You've been smoking weed all day and I'm not having it. Now, it's about time you grew up and looked after yourself. New word. You're taking the piss out of me and I'm not having it. You go and sort yourself out. I've been trying to help you. You've taken the... All day long you've taken the piss out of me. I tried so hard to help you. Yeah, well, you should have remembered it was your house and went and got a job and took part in all of this. From bloody years ago. I tried, you keep saying, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. I tried, Terry, I've been there for you all the time. This on my whole life, you just this and decide about my whole life. Don't. Don't make accusations. Don't judge me. Do not. Whatever, Terry. Sort yourself out. I'm not doing it. Lazy bastard. Morning. In Cornwall, for the past three days, Shaz has ignored all the housework. She's been busy preparing for her party. But the domestic decline is starting to get on John's nerves. If we look around the house, Absolutely no housekeeping whatsoever. No hoovering, no washing, no dusting, dirty plates accumulating in the kitchen. Since you've been kind of in charge, the family's gone totally dysfunctional. Oh, it hasn't. No, let me explain. All right, go on. And I think with, you know, what I've seen is, you know, a massive amount of effort and focus and energy, which is a good thing, but I, I sense it's on the wrong stuff because I sense you're so wrapped up in terms of the sort of the youth side and getting the party organised and making sure that everything's ready for that. How can you say that it's dysfunctional or that, you know, everything's gone to part or whatever? Because the house has gone to rats, hasn't no, it? No, because, because you lot are so obsessed with your fucking cleaning. No, we're right? not obsessed I'm with sorry, cleaning. But when you it spend, needs to be tidy. When you, you spend to... five hours, we, I'm going to prove a point and you're going to do it today, right? I've been around the house today. And, and it's like, a tip. And you're going to clean it up. Well, I'm not going to clean you it up. You are going to clean it up. I'm, not, I'm trying to make you the point to you. You are going to clean it up when it stays up this it will stay they like will this do them. So what are you going to do then? On Sunday, when she comes back, it's going to be left like this? Well, then she'll know what kind of person you are. No, she'll know, she be able to manage it she'll know that you wasn't fucking helping I've her. Done much you more. Can't sit I've there. done much more in the what ten days done? you've done. What been here. Done? A lot. Well, then, what's your problem? I want you to help fucking tidy the house. That's it. Get out of my room now. In London, Terry and Tracy are trying to clear the air. You're too judgmental. I cannot deal with you, seriously. I couldn't deal with you. I've been nice. I've been See, patient, really I cared. And what did you do? You took the piss, Terry. No, oh, I took long. You, you took long? You took the piss. You broke your own rules by shouting at me. You took the piss by kicking me out of my mum's house. You have no right to do that. Being nice got me nowhere, so I was trying to shock you into reality. How hard do you think it was doing that? Do you think I got any pleasure from that? Of course I didn't. But being nice wasn't getting you where I wanted you to go, because I want you to have better. You deserve better but you've got to do it as well you want to help me i did fuck you ain't help me you've made this worse now now i feel like i don't want to talk to you why am i in this house with you this ain't better i was really hoping you'd come to work with me today i'm not coming to work here oh. i want to work i know but not with you right okay so this simple well good well i'm just glad that you you got fired up all right if you ate my guts fair enough but i was trying to help you I'm sorry if I've hurt your feelings, because I would have never wanted to do that. Uh, 
Will you shake my hand? All right. Can I give you a hug, Tiz? I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't want to get stressed. <laughs> I don't know. It's too far up top. I know. It's the day of Shaz's party for the underprivileged kids. But John's decided to break the rules and call it off. A consensus decision. In this particular situation, you've taken me, my family, the way we live, way over the boundary, what, and I've reacted. That? Of, of say, way over the boundary because I'm like, not. We do not do not use our house as a youth hostel. We why? don't live like that. Why? It's a personal choice. No, no, accept no. my point of view graciously. I'm not going to accept it graciously. Then fine. Because, then please leave. Well, I will leave, John. But you know what? At the end of the day, then you know, it's leave. all about material stuff and like, you know what? It's selfish. I'm so I'm so me. sad that you were you unable to pick anything you up with this. You are sad, John. You are sad. I'm sorry. Goodbye. But you're, you're the way that you live. Is sad. In London, Terry's also had second thoughts. He's decided to go to the youth club to work with Tracy. This is Rachel. How is you? Daniel and Jordan. That's me, you hear me? staff are saying how brilliantly Terry's doing and how much the kids love him. So I'm just really chuffed and I just hope everything works out for him. Go Terry! Go Terry! Go Terry! Go Terry! This is how narrow-minded people live and that's you. Shaz has been asked to leave, but first she's giving John one last piece of her mind. Like all through the week, it was like, you know what, John's doing good, he's, he's making an effort, he's doing this, he's big them kids up. Their faces, are you going to explain to them? Are you? Are you going to tell them, oh, well, I'm sorry, I don't want riffraff in my ass? I didn't say are you gonna, what are you going to say to them? What are you going to say to them? What are you going to say? What are you going to say? What are you going to say to them? I'm asking you. I'm asking you what you're going to say. I'm asking you. And I'm asking you what you're going to say to them. Because you can't say shit. You can't say shit, can you? I can feel very bad about it and feel very sorry for them. You ain't sad, John. No, I am. sad. You don't look sad. You ain't sad. I am very sad about it. I just couldn't take it right in my... On top of me, I just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? You can have me that I'm the loud mouth and I'm this and I'm that, but you know what? I've got a fucking heart, mate. Right? And you, it's all material shit. You know I what? think it was incredibly important to my relationship with my wife, I wouldn't have done it. I value that more than anything what? else in the world. What? 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 Yeah, you would have cooled it off. Do you think I would have done that lightly? No. But it's not about your wife. Your wife's not here. It's about what I'm doing here for the my next five My wife's coming days. back here. She'll yes, be with us for, me for the rest of my life. Yeah, I know that. This, this is, is too one, much. Yeah, and this is the one opportunity you had to make a difference, and you didn't do it. Oh, but you, oh, I'm sure your wife would be well proud of you. Oh, John, I'm glad you didn't do it, because then the house would have been a mess. Yeah? Right or wrong? Or am I mad? No, you're not. And I, yeah, but right or wrong? Well, let me answer you. You say right or wrong. No, it's, not, it's not an answer like that. I, I do tend to think that my wife is almost to the point of You're addiction in terms obsessed. of cleanliness, but that's something that she has, and that's something that you know I have to deal with on a daily basis, and I need to support her with that. Wife is not here, John. She wasn't here yesterday. Mm -hmm. She's somewhere else, yeah? I'm here, she's there. This is what this is about. Like, you have basically fucked it up. You live with it, yeah? Despite being asked to leave the house, Shaz has agreed to meet the Van der Scots to discuss the experience. When I met Terry, I absolutely thought he was such a fantastic bloke. He is, but well, he's... <laughs> I just wondered if you had enough pull on him to be able to get him on track, because he could potentially Terry, Terry be such a good... Terry can be put on track, but then he can, he can get off track too. 
you know, I have it that my kids know that, you know, I'm there for them, I do what I've got to do. And, you know, I do a lot of, I do a lot for the community. I don't, I don't, I don't think, with, not, with, with a lot of scenarios, if every child had parents or a parent who was there for them all the way, mm. then they wouldn't need people like you to go out and work and look after these sort of kids. Really? So in my view, the best thing I can do for society is make sure that the three kids I've got grow up to be the best, most rounded kind of people that they can possibly be. I haven't got this great need to feel like I've got to give back. So, but so right, okay, so you, you know, you so haven't got to give anything to. back to society. Have you ever done anything for society then? Can I ask you that? Society. What, like what? Pay our taxes. I pay taxes. That's not doing anything for society. You know what I mean? You're paying your taxes. It's all I'm talking apart. about really doing something for society. Like, and what are you fundraising? doing? Fundraising. Fundraising. What do all the time do you what do? You do? Pepsi what do you do? did a lot of fundraising no, I'm and sponsorship. I'm talking about things like, you know, working with people with HIV, doing stuff. You know, you can sit there and harm and who and whatever. I don't feel I have yeah. any great need to do that. Why? If you want does it, it make you feel what? So, you know, it doesn't make you feel good because you've never done it. Everyone can do it in their own way. Paying yes. taxes. Take paying taxes. At the end of the day, all you think about is yourselves. And why shouldn't we? Because okay. we pay right. our taxes. So well, enough. can't you Thank handle you. the fact that it's the truth? You don't do oh, nothing for society, no, that's no, it. Really? Oh, go and do your thing. Look, just go and run home and do... Oh, listen to you. Because that's the only way I can make you listen. Really? Really? I think you might try that with your husband. Go home and do some more polishing, OK? Oh, get a life, shout. I have a life, darling. I work. I have a life. You have no idea. You do scrubbing all day and your husband pays you with his plastic. So get out my face. You know nothing. I know nothing. I know a lot. You know nothing about me. I know enough. I know enough that you all you do is scrub your house and clean and all the rest of it, and your husband oh, pays you. Is there a bit of the green-eyed monster there? Green -eyed, oh, do you know what? I don't envy your life. I feel sad. You are dull. Do you live life? D-U-L-L. -L. Do you live life? No. That is the answer. I don't love myself. You don't love no, yourself. No, I know you need to, because someone doesn't. Bye. Fucking arseholes. to get a life. I have a life. My life is full and exciting. That's what life stands for. Life is full and exciting. Whereas hers is dull because they don't live life. All they do is clean, 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 clean. And that's it. That ain't living life, mate. Hello. I don't think there are very many people that could have walked into the experience that you walked in and walked out of it you know, kind of intact. I think it was incredibly difficult. I mean, it's a breadth of character. I wouldn't like to have done it. Hello, sweetie. You all right? To apologise to the underprivileged kids for letting them down, John and Tracy are planning to treat them to a day at a theme park. Shortly after Tracy left, Terry started working at a removal firm. He's hoping it will lead to full-time employment.